Hello, my name is Dave Black, and I'm the Director of Technology Integration at Shepherd of the Hills Christian School in Centennial, Colorado. And I'd like to take a moment to introduce you to the topic of blended learning. First, the definition. Blended learning is a mixing of different learning environments, combining traditional face-to-face -face classroom methods with technology-mediated instruction. And there's really three components to blended learning. There's the face-to-face -face traditional approach. There's uh, self-paced approaches uh, using an online environment. And there's community-based or whole class approaches also in that online environment. And you probably ask them, well, why blended instruction? Why a different environment? Well, it is an attempt to best meet the needs of diverse 21st century learners uh, and provide a wider variety of educational experiences. Um, our, many of our schools also uh, face competitive pressures, and this might be an opportunity to reach out to um, a different segment of our communities uh, with the message of Jesus Christ. Uh, it, it also gives us the opportunity to use uh, class time more efficiently. Um, it provides us more opportunity to spend time with both struggling learners and also to challenge our, uh, our high flyers in the classroom in new ways. And it also reminds us that learning takes place beyond a specific time and place when online environments are used. Uh, in order for blended learning to work well, oftentimes schools have identified online courseware uh, to support this mission. And online courseware is defined as class materials such as presentations, tests, uh, discussions, etc. that are shared in an integrated online environment. One of the most popular tools for online courseware today is a tool called Moodle. It is uh, used in parochial and public schools as a structure for the blended learning environment, and it is open source. Um, and in this environment, all students in a class or school would have access to this service to accomplish the various tasks that were mentioned in the definition of blended learning. So that's one tool you may wish to check out. So is blended learning right for your school? As you start to ask questions about that, I would encourage you to consider both the challenges as well as the opportunities of blended learning. Um, as human beings, we're great at looking at the challenges, but also I believe that blended learning opens up many opportunities for learning and ministry.